The war in Ukraine has exposed the double standards of the West. Here's how. We are all shocked and horrified at the scenes coming out of Ukraine, with an oppressor invading another nation. However, amidst the entire crisis, we can't help but notice an underlying double standard emerging from the way the world is responding. Ukraine isn't the first country to be invaded illegally. In fact, it's not the first country to be invaded by Russia. As we speak, there are Russian jets flying over Syria. Yet we have media commentators consistently highlighting that Ukraine is different and worthy of our sympathy. It's really emotional for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed, children being killed every day with Putin's missiles. Why? Because they are civilized, European, Christian, and have blonde hair and blue eyes? You know, this is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European. I have and this is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. These are um, Christians, so white. Why do we consistently need to be reminded that these aren't Arabs, Muslims, Afghans, or Syrians? Do you need to be a Middle Easterner to be qualified as a refugee? This isn't a place, with all due respect, um, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan. And don't get me wrong, of course we care about the Ukrainians, but why do we constantly need to be reminded that these people are different and therefore worthy of our sympathy? You see, when it comes to the case of the Ukrainians, they have the right to bear arms and to fight for their country, and the media celebrates them as defiant heroes. Yet when Arabs or Muslims do the same, they are branded as terrorists. Why is it that the Ukrainian Defense Ministry is allowed to teach people how to make Molotov cocktails in their fight against the oppressor? But Palestinian kids from the tender age of 10 are criminalized by the media and imprisoned up to 20 years for throwing rocks at their occupiers. The hypocrisy even extends to the response of global institutions. Russian media and art shows are canceled, Russian banks are being shut down, and Russian assets are being frozen. Heck, FIFA has also sanctioned all Russian teams from participating while football stadiums are plastering anti-Putin slogans. Why is it okay for football players to speak out against Russia? Yet we saw Mesut Ozil shunned for speaking out in support of the Oigas, and Celtic fans fined for waving the Palestinian flag. And when we look at the responses of world leaders, we see the exact same hypocrisy. Biden is somewhat shocked by a foreign country invading another. Who in the Lord's name does Putin think gives him the right to declare new so-called countries on territory that belong to his neighbors? But will never say the same thing about Israel invading Palestine. Boris Johnson is praising the resistance of the Ukrainians, but God forbid he say the same thing about a Muslim resistance. They are fighting back, perhaps with uh, more effect, uh, with more resistance than the Kremlin had bargained for. Obama has passionately spoken out against the actions of Russia and the need to impose sanctions. But where were the sanctions against US bombings against Iraq and Afghanistan? This isn't about whataboutism or what about the oppressed Muslim countries. We are not trying to deflect attention from Ukraine at all. But I'm left asking, why the double standards?